Hello children, how are you? I hope you all are doing great. You all must have finished your assignments. Welcome to today's English Literature class. Last class we read chapter 11, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Well, did you all understand the chapter children? Very good. Today we will read a beautiful poem, The Rainbow. In this poem, the poet says that the clouds float in the sky just like boats and ships sail on the water. But the clouds look more beautiful to the poet. When compared to the boats and ships, the poet also compares the rainbow with bridges that are built over rivers. She describes that the rainbow is a bridge that connects earth to the sky. Moreover, the rainbow is prettier than a man-made bridge. Now children, you can see how interesting the poem is. Then take out your English literature book, that is your mulberry book and turn to page number 99. The rainbow. Have you seen a rainbow? Where did you see it? Let us read and enjoy a poem about the rainbow. Children, please repeat after me. Both sail on the rivers and ships sail on the seas. But clouds that sail across the sky are prettier than these. There are bridges on the rivers as pretty as you please. But the bow that bridges heaven and overtops the trees and builds a road from earth to sky is prettier far than these. Now children, once again, boats sail on the rivers and ships sail on the seas. But clouds that sail across the sky are prettier than these. There are bridges on the rivers, as pretty as you please. But the bow that bridges heaven and overtops the trees and builds a road from earth to sky is prettier far than these. Children, the poem is written by Christina Rossetti. Followed. Now, please take out page number 100. Making connections. Number 1. Put a tick against the correct answer. A. In the poem, where do the boats sail? Children, there are three options. Number 1. Oceans, number two, lakes, number three, rivers. The correct answer is rivers. So, put a tick mark beside number three. B. The poet thinks that the dash. Number one, clouds in the sky do not look good. Number two, clouds in the sky look pretty. Number three, clouds in the sky are fluffy 
and white. Children, the correct answer is clouds in the sky look pretty. So put a tick mark beside number 2. Next, C. Clouds are prettier than dash. Children, here also we have three options. Number 1, rivers and seas. Number 2, boats and ships. Number 3, rainbows. The correct answer is boats and ships. So put a tick mark beside number 2. Now D. Where are the bridges? The first option is on the roads. The second option is on the hills. And the third option is on the rivers. The correct answer is on the rivers. So put a tick mark beside number 3. Now question number 2. What is called a road from earth to sky? Children, please pay attention. Answer 2. The rainbow is called a road from earth to sky. Question 3. Have you ever seen a rainbow? Answer 3. Yes, I have seen a rainbow and it looks beautiful in the sky. Now question 4. How many colors are there in a rainbow? Can you name them? Answer 4. There are 7 colors in a rainbow. They are violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Did you all understand children? All 7 colors? Yes. Now, question 5. When do you generally see a rainbow? Children, can you tell me the answer? It's very easy, I know. Come on. Answer 5 is, I see a rainbow after it rains. Now, children, there's a homework for you. You have to color the rainbow. Number 6, yes. You can see the rainbow on page number 100. You have to color all seven colors. Followed. Now please take out page number 101. Appreciation. Number 1. As we see in the poem, boats, ships and clouds are things that sail. Look at the pictures given below. And match them with what they do. Children, you can see the pictures. Yes, aeroplane, kite and eagle. All these three match with fly. F-L-Y. Okay? Next. There's picture of a pair of shoes, stars and diamonds. All three matches with shine. S-H-I-N-E. Followed. Next. At the bottom, you can see the picture of a diver. Yes. Tortoise and whale. All three matches with swim. S-W-I-M. Okay. Now, very good. You can understand all three. I hope you will match all three. No children? The first one, aeroplane, kite and eagle with fly, shoes, stars and diamond with shine and diver, tortoise and whale with swim. Well, Children, did you like the poem? Yes, I know. Very good. Now, I will tell you the summary of the poem. In the first half of the poem, 
the comparison is between boats sheep and the flying clouds they are all beautiful and they all sail but the clouds which sail across the sky is wind by far in the second half of the poem the comparison is between a bridge and a rainbow they have both the same shape and stretch across a distance but the rainbow goes from the earth to the sky rather than from one patch of ground to another the poem is just an imagination of the poet christina rossetti christina rossetti was an english poet who wrote romantic devotional and children's poem goblin market and remember are two of the most famous poems of her well that's all for today children and meet you in the next class when we will read chapter 12 the happy frog until then take care of yourself avoid going to crowded places wash your hands frequently with hand wash or soap and water don't forget to wear mask whenever you go out bye children